drink beer, it's good for you. I'm empty handed and I'm feeling blue, and I'm gonna drink till the day that I die. Hello, and welcome to the video. In this video, I shall be looking at the new Grandfather Water Meter. Seeing as this is a review video, let me start off with something quite boring before we get to the good stuff. I want to make it completely crystal clear that this is a totally independent review. All opinion in this review is my own. This is the case for all content on my channel. My opinion is not for sale. It never has been, nor will it ever be. The purpose of this video is to put would-be buyers in a position where they can get factual information needed to make an informed decision. Now let's get started. So when you buy this product, it comes in this small box. As stated on the box, you will need to buy some extra 8mm or 0.3 inch inner diameter silicon hose. One meter's worth is suggested as a minimum. Inside the box we also have full instructions, as you can see here. These are in printed form of course, you can also get these online. And here is the water meter itself. This part that you can see here on top is actually where your temperature probe is going to go. The two side ends here are where you connect your silicon hose from your counterflow chiller and also an extra piece of silicon hose for flow. As I'm sure you can imagine, the process to fit this is very simple. But here it is anyway. So in goes the water meter to the wall out hose, and then you take the end of your extra piece of silicon hose and you put it in the other. I would also suggest that you secure each end of the silicon hoses to the water meter. Here I have used small cable ties which would work perfectly well for testing, but I will upgrade these to hose clamps shortly. When you fit the temperature probe, you want to ensure that the silicon connector on the water meter is holding part of the finger guide portion of the probe to ensure a good fit. So here it is in action. You begin by removing the temperature probe on your Connect or original Grandfather controller from the thermal well position on your Grandfather, and this is then put in place on your water meter as shown here. This now means that the display on your controller is now showing your temperature of the wall inside your counterflow chiller. This allows you to precisely know when your wall is ready to begin transfer into your fermenter, and you get to see this temperature change in real time, of course. It also allows you to react to this, also to suit the yeast that you are using. The way that you will react will depend on what is needed. With the Grainfather Counterflow Chiller, we have two points of control. Firstly, we have our cold tap, which can be turned on and off, restricting the cooling water flowing through the counterflow chiller. Mostly, you're going to want to have the tap on the whole time during the chilling phase, but for yeast with a high fermentation and pitch temperature, like for example Norwegian yeast Jana's Voskveik, which loves temperatures between 40 to 42.5 degrees Celsius, you will actually need to juggle your cold tap on and off during the chilling phase to get the desired pitching temperature. Another vital thing to dial in during this process is the actual flow rate from your tap to your counterflow chiller. Grainfather suggests a flow rate from your tap of between 1.5 to 2.5 litres per minute. To ensure that you have this right, simply add a jug under your tap and see how much water the jug collects in one minute. You will soon understand where to set your tap for the future. Be aware that going too high on this flow rate could potentially damage your counterflow chiller. More flow will not necessarily be more effective either. For yeast that needs a lower temperature, like lager yeast for example, you may need to use the second point of control, which is the valve at the top of your recirculation pipe. This valve can be adjusted so that it is only partially open, which essentially means a much smaller amount of wort will enter the counterflow chiller compared to when the out valve is actually fully open. Chilling on this basis will mean that wort will be cooled at a much faster and more efficient rate. 
Typically you may not need to do this for very long at all and you can open the valve fully gradually but it does of course depend on how cold your water is. I have no issues with this whatsoever in Norway of course but those of you in Australia for example will do especially during the summer. It's fair to say that the water meter works very well for keeping a precise eye on your wart's temperature during the chilling phase. I see this as totally essential care. But as many of you know, if you have seen my previous videos, that I've actually been using the Blickman thermometer for this purpose in the past. So let's compare both products now so you can fully understand the difference. Firstly, let's look at price. In Norway, the Blickman thermometer is being sold for just over 30% more than the Grainfather water meter. I note that in the UK, the difference in price is just over 25% in the same direction. This is naturally at the time of this review in these two areas. If you live somewhere else, then check accordingly. Let's move on to how these work and how accurate they are, starting with the Blickman thermometer. The Blickman product uses an LCD temperature strip with, for readings with a color code system. Blickman suggests that this should not be used with boiling water but frankly mine has had a large amount of hot boiling wort through it over the years and it's been perfectly fine. The LCD strip is calibrated when new to be accurate to 1 degree Celsius or within 2 degrees Fahrenheit. Mine has wandered slightly from this but as long as you know where it is it's really not a problem. The main problem here is in reading this during chilling. It's quite a small display and as such you need to be quite close to it to read it accurately. On the flip side the Grainfather water meter offers this temperature reading much more precisely and with an instant reading on an illuminated screen in a much larger form. These key advantages are fantastic and as such make the Grainfather water meter a very worthy upgrade to the Blickman product. Obviously I've made this upgrade myself and will be using the water meter for all my brews moving forward. It's a small price to pay for such a nice upgrade. I also feel that this product offers much greater value for money in comparison to the Blickman offering, which always seemed overpriced for what it was, but with no other alternative available until now, it became a desirable purchase price aside. So there you have it, this wraps up this video. I do hope you have found it useful, interesting and enjoyable. So if you did like this video, then please do like it on YouTube. This really helps me out and allows the videos to be seen by a wider audience on YouTube. I have always got a lot of new videos planned for the future, so if you are interested in seeing my new content, then please subscribe for future content. If you have any questions on anything that I have covered in this video or any other video, then please do not hesitate to get in touch with me via YouTube or Facebook. I'm a member of pretty much every Grainfather Facebook group and more. Happy brewing!